Okay, I just want to do a quick review of my WR long third function hydraulic valve that I've uh, had it in place now for a couple of months. Uh, WR long makes this valve. I bought it through everything attachments. I love it. It, it does everything that it was promised to do. It, you know, I've got it running my snow blade right now and it, it works perfectly. So the valve, when you order the, the valve kit, all right, so you've got, you've got your valve body and the hoses, the, the bracket that it mounts with, uh, the electric wiring that comes with it, and you also get a new handle to, all right, see that? Uh, you get a new handle on there. So you take off your old knob, put that one on. It's got the, the thumb switch that comes with that. Easy, extremely easy to install on that side of it. Uh, anyway, so what you get with this, you, you get the, the hoses that obviously they run out to the front. You get the hoses that connect into your existing system. Now, looking at this uh, from this side, all right, so this hose that is now connected to the right side here used to connect onto the, the factory valve body, and it used to connect right there, that hose, the one that angles off to the side. Um, so basically you take it off the factory body, swing it over, route it up here, mount it to the right side here, boom. That connects and now that hose then comes back into the underside, into the pumps and whatnot. Uh, the left side, okay, so you got the left side hose on here. That left hose comes with the kit. It's about, I don't know, three feet long or so. And that goes back to where, obviously, you're back to where you just took the other one off. So that is the new factory or the new uh, kit hose. That's it. That is that is the total sum of connecting anything on the hydraulic side with this kit. You take one off, swing it up here. Take this one and put it back. Done. Easy. That's it. Now, the electric connections. Uh, these are your solenoids, top and bottom here. That's the directionals. All right, so you've got a connection. I made my connections up under here. Um, you've got to get power to this, and that obviously comes up to your switch up in the handle. So uh, running up to the battery with an inline fuse. I suppose you could get somewhere else. I ran mine all the way to the battery, put an inline fuse up front. I know where it's at. It's out of the way, not going to get buggered up. Okay, so now, done. Half an hour, 45 minutes. I was, I was complete. Uh, just one note, when I, I did get mine, and um, I, had a, I had an actual bad, this, this valve body here, it had a bad casting, it had a hole in it. So when I installed it, put it all together, hit it, and fluid was running out of here. It was bad. Um, contacted everything attachments. I had another one within two days. I mean, it was super quick, um, easy to replace, no problem. Uh, they perfect to work with, no issues at all. Uh, okay, so though anyway, the hoses, in fact, those hoses from everything attachments uh, come up here. So you get the you get the full uh, hose length that you need for your tractor. A little bit of sunlight out of here. Anyway, so. You get what you need, except one thing that I discovered was on my plow, obviously, um, those are pretty small diameter cylinders. So the electric solenoids are full flow. So you hit that, we get a full flow, whatever the tractor is capable of, come running down these hoses. I needed to slow that down. Cheap way to slow it down, and, and I, what I've read is actually the proper way to slow it down is one of these guys right here is a uh, restricted orifice adapter right and i just put that in line right there restricts it down to 132nd inch and makes the angles much more manageable five bucks tractor supply super easy so if you're running something like a, a grapple or uh, as i am with a plow like this uh, and you want the you want to slow down your your cylinder speed, I highly recommend throwing in a $5 part right there. 
Um, makes it a lot safer, I believe. Anyway, that's the review. I love my tractor, Kubota L4600, hydraulic, third function valve kit. And uh, there you are. Everything attachments, WR long kit. Thank you guys very much. I, I, I enjoy my increased versatility and functionality of my tractor.